we tried one of the best pizzas in the world. The best Neapolitan style pizza I've ever had. Who knew that the islands of Japan had some of the best pizza outside of Italy? Everything here is very legit. And has the most number of awards in the Asia Pacific. They are awarded the very prestigious APN award. So you know you're getting the real deal. And today we're taking you with us to one of the best pizzerias in Japan. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? And welcome back to our Japan travel series. And we are here in Tokyo! Tokyo. So we have just landed at the airport and straight to the action we go and guys it is hustling and bustling way way different than the countryside that we were just at we are currently making our way to meet up with some friends here in shibuya and you might recognize them if you've watched our previous video but it's gonna be a little surprise yes and we'll show you when we meet up with them What's up, man? Buddy? How's it going, man? Good, good to see you. But first, let us introduce you to our friends, Top Flight Family. And if they look familiar, we've done a couple of collabs with them in the past. Possibly meeting up in Japan? Maybe. Maybe. They like to travel in style and are total family goals. So definitely go check them out. We met up with our friends, Top Flight Family, to take them to a farmer's market here in Tokyo. And as you guys know, in Hawaii, we always love to support local and go to farmer's markets. So we decided, why not come to one in Tokyo? And this place is supposed to have some really Really, really great street food so we're super excited to check it out and take you guys along with us and yes I'm feeling better than yesterday <laughs> I'm ready to eat and as always Fudio Hana you gotta follow your senses and our senses led us to this cute little tiny grilled cheese sandwich shop it looks amazing we're gonna get some Hana. So I got a grilled cheese sandwich. This is a Scottish, was it? It was a Scottish toast called Toasties. This one is the Casanova. It has cheese and chicken. And it's so nice and buttery and browned on the top. It's literally glistening. And there was full of cheese. And you guys know we love cheese. There is onions, but hopefully they're cooked. <laughs> Cheers. The crunch of the bread is crazy. Oh, flying away. It's yeah. really windy here in Tokyo today. Literally, everyone is flying away. It has a nice, like, a, I don't know, some kind of sauce in here. What is that? It's like garlic aioli. Mm. I love how the melted cheese on the inside went onto the outside, so it made like a nice cheese crust on the bread. And the onions do give it a nice little kick to the bread. It is cheesy. They weren't lying about that. And there's a lot of protein packed in this little salad. The sausage and chicken. Mm. Mm. Elevated artisan grilled cheese. <laughs> but Felix also got something super interesting, so I want him to try that. Alright guys, so Serge convinced me to get this venison <laughs> burger. Found out venison is deer. <laughs> Normally we uh, shy away from He's the more. Hawaii, so not a deer. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. It's uh, in my defense, anyway. <laughs> they said it didn't taste too gamey, so I'm pretty excited. We shall find out. It looks really good. It's like if Shake Shack offered a venison option. Is what it would look like. I love that the bun is nice and buttered up. Oh, it's, it's kind of hot actually. Oh man! 
You don't even taste the gaminess. If you told me this was a hamburger, I'd believe you. Hmm, nicely seasoned. I love the crust on the outside from the griddle top when it's smashed. Caramelized onions. It's nice and gooing with cheese. Ooh. Hmm. So you're simply changed now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try venison from now on. They have some kind of sauce on here too. It tastes just kind of more mustardy, like a mustard yellow sauce. Hmm. Real good. And instead of fries, it comes with little potato fingerlings. Hmm. Very simple, very potatoey. So simple brioche bun. It's nice and fluffy. I'll definitely get this again. And also at the same stand, they had a venison koroke. So it's like basically a menchi katsu but with ground venison instead of beef. Give this bad boy a try. Mmm! It's like a mashed potato that's filled with ground venison. Once again, you don't really taste the gaminess. Very packed with flavor in this little guy right here. Very nice and crunchy on the outside, very light. It's almost airy, like it's wit. Oh no. All it needs is a little like tonkatsu sauce. So I also had the venison burger, um, and yeah, I thought it was really good. It was like really juicy. Um, I really like the brioche bun. It's nice and buttery. Definitely recommend try it out. Yeah, the burger was good. It was. It didn't feel very heavy because sometimes you eat burgers and it feel kind of heavy. I think the venison is like a lighter meat, and they, they cooked it well. I think when the meat is very lean, you can overcook it and it gets like rubbery. But they did a good job with it. The onions, the brioche bun. They've made a couple venison burgers. You could tell. <laughs> so yeah, it was great. I would recommend it again. So the original cafe we wanted to go to was way too crazy and busy. There's a line forming around the building. So instead we came to a place here called Cafe Brico. They're known for having, I guess, their single origin coffee and matcha. And let's be honest, we were escaping the heat. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like an empty cafe, why not? And it looked good too, to be fair. So I got the Hoji Cha Frappe. Oh, is it called Frozen? Yeah. I guess here they call it frozen, but basically it's like a frappuccino or blended. And I got the... She just said that it was a balanced coffee. She said there was two varieties. This one, a balanced blend or a sour blend. Okay. So yeah, I got the balanced. We don't do sour sure. unless it's whiskey. So, yeah. Mm. Ooh. It's a very nice roasty, earthy taste from the hojicha. If you guys didn't know, hoji cha is just basically just roasted green tea. So I like hoji cha for that added depth of flavor when it is roasted. Mm, really nice. This is actually my first cup of coffee today, which was really needed. <laughs> and yeah, it is pretty balanced. It is a bit more sour than I thought it would be, but I mean, most coffee is sour. Let me try this balanced coffee here. Ooh, okay. It, it kind of tastes sour and then bitter and then smooth, like roasty taste. I actually really like this. I like yours better. All right, okay, I'll take the coffee <laughs> then. <laughs> this has right. a, a nice strong hojicha flavor. I feel like we try to like deviate from our, our norm and we end up going back to what we're used to. I'm used to just black coffee in the morning. And Amanda likes her tea lattes. All right, I guess this is where we part ways. Yes. <laughs> Always good times and good eats with Amanda and Felix. Oh, yeah. oh, thank Wish you. it could be uh, more more days here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll try to work something. Next time in New York, you guys yeah. got to Oh, yes, 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 definitely. Please. Yeah. The next time we see Tough Life family, we'll probably be in New York. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you guys follow them too. We'll leave the links down below. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Alright Fudi Ohana, we just said goodbye to Top Flight family but the content is not over because we are meeting up with my friend, a very old friend named Haruko. You guys will meet her in just a second but we are possibly going to be trying one of the best pizza spots here in Tokyo and maybe even the world. So stay tuned. We 
are currently at Miyashita Park. This is a pretty awesome, pretty unexpected, if anything, this is a rooftop park on top of a three-story shopping mall building. How, how crazy is that? It's a, basically a park smack dab in the middle of Shibuya. And beneath us is a shopping mall, there's a food hall as well. We're gonna stay away from that food hall though. We're saving our stomachs for later. we have arrived at our pizza destination and guys little fun fact Tokyo has some of the best pizzas in the world and when I mean pizza I mean like traditional Neapolitan style so if you're into Neapolitan Tokyo is a place you don't want to miss for Neapolitan pizzas and we are here at Napoli Staka Pizzeria de Pepe I'm probably butchering that, but you guys will see in the B-roll if you guys want to look this place up. It was on many lists of top pizzas, dying to try them out. They also have pastas and other dishes as well, so let's go check them out. As I mentioned outside, we're here at Pepe Napoli Staka. That, that's a mouthful if you don't know how to speak the language. And I'm pretty sure we're butchering it once again. <laughs> we apologize in advance. Everything here is very legit. As you saw, they are awarded the very prestigious APN award for authentic Neapolitan pizzerias. So you know you're getting the real deal here. Also, the staff. Only. They're literally speaking Italian. Yeah. And they have a good sense of humor. <laughs> but. We just put in our orders, we're very excited. We're just waiting for the pizzaiolo to make our pizza. I believe the pizzaiolo and owner is Chef Giuseppe. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But nonetheless, very excited. We ordered two of their most popular pizzas here. Pasta dish, salad, you'll see, you'll see the works. Yes, we're very excited. So, and it's very lively in here too, but I love the aesthetic. And it's crazy too. Um, if you guys do come here, highly, highly recommend rec making reservations. And our salad is here. First thing that came out is their insalata. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time, Fudio Hana. A lot of the menu items are, I mean, all of them actually are in Italian, so we don't know how to pronounce it, but this is their house insalata or house salad. Looks like a thick vinaigrette dressing with some ham. I forgot what this is called. First bite of the evening. Ooh, and there's like burrata cheese on here too. Mm, 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 mm. Very light vinaigrette dressing. I love the cheese. The cheese is so fresh. The meat on here is really good. Everything here is imported directly from Italy. The chef Pizzolo himself is from Italy. Plenty of years of experience and trained in Italy as well. So you know you're getting the real deal once again. The salad is so simple but it's very satisfying. Very light way to start the evening. I love the pepperiness of the shaved parmesan and also the creamy mozzarella cheese. Mm. It's mortadella. Mortadella. mortadella, that's what it was. I cannot wait for the pizzas. Mm. And they give you a little thing of bread. There's no olive oil or butter. I believe it's on request. I just soaked up the balsamic vinaigrette. Mm. The bread isn't like re toasted or anything, but you can tell it's very rustic and very fresh. Ooh. That is so beautiful. Oh wow, all these pizzas look so good. Wow, that so looks fresh. good. What is that? Oh, it smells amazing. So we ordered two of their 
namesake pizzas or two of their most recommended pizzas here. One is a signature dish from Chef Giuseppe himself. It's his specialty pizza you can only get here. It's literally in the shape of a star. On the menu it's called the Don Sable. So basically the crust is folded into little star shaped pockets and little triangle edges that's stuffed with ricotta and smoked sausage. The center is more like your traditional margarita pizza with San Marzano tomatoes and mozzarella. Everything imported from Italy. I'm trying to figure out how to attack this. I'm gonna cut. They made little incisions so you can cut a star out for you and your guest. So it makes it really easy to share. We're gonna cut ourselves some wedges for the star. So we can share. It's so right off the bat, just from cutting, I can tell it's so delicate. The dough is really light. I love that it's imperfect, like not all the stars are the same size. It's so fluffy and the dough is like has a nice wheat taste it has a nice char on the bottom also and it's so fluffy and the tomatoes are like so, kind of sweet it's sweet i was gonna say i normally don't like tomatoes like this but it's really sweet for me it's the star shaped pockets at the end and so each one of these pockets are stuffed with ricotta and ham this is the best Neapolitan style pizza i've ever had to the point it's got me eating the tomatoes i really really love that wood fire oven char on the bottom. It can't be replicated with your conventional oven. It needs to be wood fired such as the oven here. So this next pizza is also a namesake. It's called the Napoli Staka. It looks like mushrooms, basil, some looks like finer shaved mushroom, olive oil, tomatoes, and mozzarella. Oh, and a uh, pine, pine nut, um, what is it? Like a, yeah, like a pine nut pesto type of spread at the tip. And this is a white pine. Okay, my, my stuff is flopping. I gotta put it in my mouth. Oh. Oh, wow. Mmm. This one's so light and fresh. Mm. Lots of earthy tones. The earthiness of the mushrooms and the pine nuts just go so well together. Slight sweetness of the tomato as well. You know, a pizza's done right when you can just eat the crust. There's no sauce or anything left. The bread is so good here. The dough is so light and airy. Oh man. Normally I'm not a Neapolitan guy. I like my pizzas like thin crust, zero flop. This pizza proved me wrong. So our pasta dish came out and these are, I forgot what these noodles are called, but they're super fat, like <laughs> fat tubular noodles. So they look like flat noodles, like almost like ribbon noodles, but if you look, they're actually hollow on the inside. It's like tubular. It's like a really big penne. Yeah, exactly. But tubular and wide. Cheers. Mm. Wow. The first thing I taste right off the bat are the pine nuts. It's actually a pistachio pesto. The pistachio mm. is very nutty. That's the first thing I taste. It has a slight sweetness too. And also the burrata cheese it just melts. And the noodle is very al dente. Very, very al dente. I felt like this whole time I've been misconstruing the term al dente until tonight. And really, that teeth feel when you bite into the, the noodles. It's almost like chewy and then hard, hard to describe. Nice little bits of tomatoes on there, adds a nice acidity, and of course, the sharpness of the pecorino sprinkled right on top, just to kind of finish it off, the finishing touch. It's such a simple dish, but it's so tasty. And the pesto is very, very earthy, earthy. I think this is a very good vegetarian dish. If you're a vegetarian, there's no meat in here, but it's so good. That pesto pistachio sauce is so good. I'm not letting it go to waste. I'm using the bread to just kind of soak it all up. I saw on the table next over too, they got like a chopino type of dish or a frutte de mare with all the seafood. But we're taking a little break from seafood, so we didn't order that. Next time for sure, if we ever make it back here.
はいどうぞ And we are here in Tokyo This is our room Oh, that was fast Alright, so here Let there be light Okay Okay, I see, I see Room tour time It's on the smaller side but a lot of hotels in japan are on the smaller side but honestly this is probably on the bigger side when it comes to japanese hotel so we actually i think this is a queen size bed right here there is a tv here with amenities we have a tea little area here Nothing. Ow. And this is the lovely refrigerator you gotta mm. turn it on but we didn't turn it on yet. This is the lovely table area. This is actually the biggest desk we had so far in the room. Honestly, Furio Hana, we actually was out the whole day. Yes. So it's actually nighttime. But there's a little chair here for when you wanna relax or put <laughs> your stuff down. And what's the view? This is just a one-way curtain. Oh there. I guess we gotta turn off the There lights. is no view. Oh, oh, you go like this. It's just the building next door. Oh. Yeah, you can't really see. It's just the building next door, guys. But the reason the room is so small is because we're planning on being out. Come on now, Furio Hana. We're gonna make a bunch of content for you guys. So stick around, guys. This is just the tip of the iceberg. More coming your way. But first, we gotta show them the bathroom. Oh, right, the bathroom. Where's this thing? Don't turn it on if you don't know what it is. Oh, it's an ironer. Like to um, iron your table, your clothes. So this is a, oh, a closet. And there's even oh. extra pillows, nice. There's a safe, you have slippers there as well. And then I'm guessing this is the bathroom. Oh, it is quite small. Where's the bath? Where's the tub? Oh. It's a shower. Right? No, oh, it's, no a tub. it's a tub. Oh, it's a shower tub. Wow, oh. that's deceiving. Yay. Okay, okay. I will say I like this. I like this. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Thumbs up. We're gradually getting better from the first <laughs> room we had to the second one to this one. Why am I yelling so loud? Yeah, I like this. Oh, it's the waterfall. All right. Not bad. Okay. Not so shabby. <sighs> oh, it's kind of hard. <laughs> this is pretty hard. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Make sure you come back for the next upload for more Japan content coming your way. We really hope you guys enjoyed our little meetup with Top Flight family and my friend from high school, Haruko. It was really, really nice seeing both of them, all of them. And special thanks to Haruko. She really helped me a lot. She did a lot of the reservations for us as well. So she really came in clutch for this trip and it was really, really fun. It was a very long day. So we're happy to be back at the hotel. Yes, as Felix says, stay tuned for the next video. If you liked today's one, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out our channel and hit that subscribe button down below to follow along on all of our foodie adventures adventures and we will see you on the next video right foodie ohana until the next one explore your inner foodie peace out bye guys good night <laughs> welcome to japan <laughs> Come bye. Guys, you can see the hustle and bustle. Oh no, yeah, let's just cut it there. Yeah. I think this is the uh, bologna, right? Mm -hmm. drop, drop a comment down below. What is the uh, Italian bologna? I feel like we should know this. From from the um and the view. Oh, sorry. Scottish toast. A Scottish oh, toast called Scottish, Toasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for today, the main event, it, oh yeah. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. But the reason the view, I mean, but the reason the real, blah. <laughs>